Hi, and welcome to the Genealogy Gems YouTube channel. I'm Lisa Louise Cook, and I'm coming to you from Roots Tech 2015. Uh, it, it's an exciting week. It's, we're all ready to Friday, and I wanted to check in with you and let you know they have been expecting almost 20,000 people here this year at Roots Tech. They've partnered up with FGS, which has made it kind of two conferences in one, which has kept us all busy. This morning, I got a chance to sit in on the keynote, which was Laura Bush and uh, her daughter, Jenna. And that was really wonderful. I, I like the fact that FamilySearch has been bringing in, not the traditional genealogist, but other people that are familiar faces to us in all different types of industries and experiences, and they're sharing their family experiences. And that's been fantastic. Coming up tomorrow, they're going to be having Donnie Osmond talk about somebody who's a rabid family historian, and he's going to be sharing his stories here. So it's a wonderful event. Now, one of the things I've been busy doing is teaching classes, both for Roots Tech and for FGS. And one of them, the first day, was Evernote, using Evernote for genealogy. So I wanted to take a second to give you an overview of what I talked to the folks here at Roots Tech about uh, in using Evernote, because one of the big questions I get is, I've heard of Evernote, why would I want to be using this for family history? So let me give you the real quick overview. Evernote is a note-taking program, and that means all this research that you're doing and all these folks around us are doing is uh, coming together in one place. So whether you're going to jot a note, you're going to take a photograph with your smartphone or your tablet, uh, maybe snapping records or snapping people that you're meeting at conferences, um, whether it's video or even re recording an audio interview with one of your relatives, all of those can go into notes. But more importantly, they can add web clipping. So as you're surfing the web, whether you're on the Family Search website or my website or some other research website, and you find an article that works for you, you can clip just that piece, not all the ads, not all the junk that goes on the sides, and it saves it as an image note to Evernote. But here's the secret sauce. They apply OCR to your images with the text on it. And that means, think of this, you find a newspaper article, clip the article about your ancestor, save it to Evernote, and all of a sudden, all of the words become keyword searchable. That is really what's creating the buzz here in uh, the classes I've been doing and talking to people at the Genealogy Gems booth. And finally, of course, on the road, we have a lot of different computing devices than we used to have, right? Not just our desktop computer, our laptop, our tablets, our smartphones, Mac or PC. And the beauty of it is Evernote is not only free, but it's available on all platforms and all types of computing devices. So whether you are at the Family uh, History Library here in Salt Lake City, or in your local library or archive, or just working from home in your jammies, whatever you're doing, you have Evernote at your fingertips. And when you create a note, it synchronizes through the cloud and it saves to all your devices. That's it in a nutshell. So I don't know what you're waiting for because it is taking everything by storm here at Roots Tech. Evernote's been the rage and people talking about it. I had a full ballroom uh, at class the other day and I hope that you will give it a shy. Here's what I've been suggesting, the seven day challenge. Give yourself seven days, no sticky notes on the monitor of your computer screen, no handwritten notes, just use Evernote. It's going to hurt the first couple days, four days into it, I'll bet you'll be moving along. And by the end of the week, you're going to see what the value is in using Evernote for your genealogy. If you want to learn more about Evernote for genealogy, go to genealogygems.com. We have a quick reference guide in our store, and I've got lots of video classes in our premium membership. And just for more about your family history in general and learning how to build your family tree, come to genealogygems.com and listen to the free Genealogy Gems podcast. It's available on iTunes, and there is an app for that. So check it out. And before you leave, subscribe to this channel, okay? We will talk to you soon.